So the, the standard for diagnosing pudendal neuralgia came out of France and it's the Nante criteria. They have inclusion and external inclusion and exclusion criteria. So if both the inclusion and exclusion criteria are met, then no further diagnostic imaging or anything is necessary. Um, so for the inclusion criteria, the pain needs to correlate with the distribution of the pudendal nerve, that makes sense. The pain is primarily with sitting. The pain is not worse at night. There's no sensory loss and the pudendal nerve block relieves the pain. Makes sense. The not the exclusion criteria are that you do not have pudendal neuralgia if you have pain someplace else where the pudendal nerve is not. <laughs> that makes sense. If you have pain that include and um and it and and itching, both get both pain and itching. Um, if you have pain that is fleeting, um, it comes and goes. Um, or if you have imaging that tells you you have a problem somewhere else and not with the pudendal nerve. That makes sense. So less formal um, ways of, of diagnosing pudendal neuralgia um, are palpation. If Can you reproduce the pain by palpating um, the pudendal nerve? Does the pudendal nerve block take away the pain? Um, you could also do um, ultrasound or Doppler or MRI um, to see if you can identify any vascular or neurologic involvement uh, in the pudendal neurovascular bundle. Um, it, people who have pudendal neuralgia longstanding um, will have more difficulty um, with the warm sensory um, detection tests, it will take them longer. And the same with the pudendal nerve terminal motor testing, it will be more latent, it will take longer for the, for the neuron to fire. So when we're looking at chronic pelvic pain um, and thinking, is this pudendal neuralgia? Is this something else? Is there an overlap, you know? The other sorts of pudendal, uh, sorry, pelvic pain include um, and pain, pelvic pain from endometriosis or adenomyosis, fibroids, musculoskeletal disorders, inflammatory disease, irritable bowel syndrome, painful bladder syndrome, and venous congestion syndrome, um, to name a few. So we want to think through those presentations, and um, those will be part of this um, chronic pelvic pain um, series.